Hey guys, welcome to the fifth Let's Play for Assassin's Creed 3 Brotherhood. Woo, let's go talk to everybody. Yeah. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. So we are at a marmalade alert level zero. I forgot to tell you guys. He's off somewhere eating, I think. Oh, nope. He's by the window. He's just staring at me. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into baby here. She's only going to get better. Is Desmond going to be able to relive memories this time? As a matter of fact, he will. That is a direct talking about what the problem was with the last Let's Play when I lost that video. Couldn't do the intro, and that was so angry. It made me so, so angry. I'm glad they fixed it. All right, where is my lady, my lady friend? Londi. Londi, where are you? Oh, wait, can I press more buttons? Oh, oh more to say. Tech geek. Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started <clears> playing with computers. Who knew that coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know? Because that, that is not normal. And he's a dick again. Thanks for being a dick again, Trod. Oh, there she is. So, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monteregioni. Monteregioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. Okay. Someone is grabby. Let's go talk to Sarah. Oh, wait. I can talk to him some more. Let's do it. We don't have time for chit-chat. Seriously? Yeah, we do. We always have time. What are we going to do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe. But as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia. But there are no clear leads yet. OK, and again. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the temples and Ezio's apple. We might actually be ahead for once. God, everybody's so crabby, crabby, crabby. There's no time to talk. Really? V will talk to me. Right, sweetie? You gotta stay with the code. Oh, seriously? You all suck. Do I gotta climb in? Oh, is it climbing in time? Oh, it is climbing in time. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. Sanctuary, sanctuary. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. <sighs> the same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Roma, January 1500, uh, excellent. Roma, 
Yes. Or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleum? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. A Wilderness of Tigers. Okay. Good as new. Find a doctor to heal the wounds from the villa attack, then climb the church tower to locate the Mazzello di Augusto. Accept. Do not drop below one health square. Oh. Okay, so let's um let's look at the database, guys. Oh wait, okay, so here's the oh I gotta Oh my god, set display. So let's look at set display. Um oh, okay, everybody's on. Excellent. Economic markers, doctor, yeah, okay, everybody's on. Excellent, excellent. Um Ooh. Okay, this is kind of cool. I have to get rid of the Borgio Towers. Oh, excellent. I oh I rebuild Rome. Oh, this is kind of cool, guys. Um map. Oh, that's where I was just at. Oh wait. Okay, so looking at this, wait a minute. Oh, I guess just I gotta explore the district. Um and then now database. Maro Arleana. Mar Muro Arleana. Enclosing all seven hills of Rome, this line of city walls was built during the reigns of Emperor Aurelian and Emperor Probus from 271 to 275. It served as a deterrent against raiding clans of barbarians who liked to strike poorly defended suburbs and villages. In 545, during the Gothic War, Totila, the king of the Ostrogoths, destroyed much of the walls in an attempt to reduce the Byzantines' ability to defend the city. And what's wrong with the Goths today? Too much makeup. Not enough village raising. Oh! I wasn't nice. All right, so we got to stay. Okay, full six. I need to find the doctor. Ooh, Roma. I guess we're gonna check databases, guys. Evidence suggests a human presence near Rome for at least ten thousand years. The mythology of early Rome tells us the city was founded by Romulus, who raised in a cave with his brother Remus by a she-wolf. Apparently, the two boys took their nourishment from the herti. A story like that must be true, right? Archaeological evidence supports that Rome did in fact grow from pastoral settlements on the Col Palantino, the future site of the Roman Forum, upon which there are several caves. Eventually, the Republic of Rome was founded in 510 BCE. The successful and wealthy Republic gave birth to imperial Roman empires in 27 BEC, BCE, which were sprawling territories ruled by seceding emperors. When the empire fell in 476 and the Roman Catholic Church took power in 756, Rome continued to be both an economic and cultural powerhouse in Europe, in the mid-14th century, Florence surpassed Rome as an epicenter of Italian Renaissance. This irked the papacy to no end, so they set about spending vast amounts of money and resources, commissioning architects and artists to create masterworks in an effort to bring the focus back to Rome. The result of this vanity-driven ambition was an unmatched creative and scientific output that is still marveled over today. It's safe to say that Rome is historically one of the most important cities in Western history and arguably the world. Nice! All right, so... Let's get out of here, guys. Can I? Oh, I can't even really do anything. I have to follow the actual paths, wow. don't I? Because it won't let me climb over stuff. Oh, Porta Setamiana. In the Middle Ages, the Via Recta left through this gate leading to the Tavir, the Tiber River port in Trastevere. It was restored at the beginning of the 15th century and again in 1498 when Pope Alexander VI wanted to give it more military feel right before Caesar marched out of Vatican to attack Romagna and the Villa Auditory. Hell, <laughs> I just mounted a horse just get there. Ooh, Aqua Vergene. Oh. Named partially for the virgin waters that flow through its channels and a myth that 30 Roman soldiers asking for water were led by a beautiful young girl to the source springs. How they knew she was a virgin is pretty self-evident. The Aqua Verga is the most famous water source in Rome. It springs to provide... Its springs provide the Trevi Fountain, the Villa Borghese, the North and South Fountains of the Piazza Navona, and the Fountains of the Piazza del Popolo with their water, none of which you'll get to see because they were all built in mid-16th century. Considered to be some of the best drinking water in the world, Romans and visitors line up to fill containers from the fountains, 
Although after a 2007 construction accident that halted the Virginia's flow temporarily and the chemical cocktail distilled daily in the Trevi fountain to keep it clean, I'd stick to tea. All right, let's get off. Let's dismount. Oh, nope, dismount. Come on, don't do this to me. Well, hello, sir. Oh, doctors, access database. Diagrams of the human body in the printing press influenced Renaissance medicine greatly, which had in turn been influenced by the Arabic, Arabic medicine during the Middle Ages. By the 15th century, science had already begun its slow climb towards becoming more relevant in spirituality in the field of healthcare. However, many people stubbornly clung to old ways, visiting local mystics instead of doctors. After the plague ravaged Europe in 1350, many doctors dressed in a special plague gear to treat patients. To prevent contamination, they wore a cape coated in wax and a primitive gas mask in the shape of a beak. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? The latest breakthroughs in medicine, alchemy, and invertebrates are here at your disposal. All right, let's select the medicine. Hey, did you just take my horse? You took my horse. Lady, what the hell was that, lady? Oh, oh, that is annoying. Okay, guys, I will see you on top of that tower. Oh, I guess we're probably going to get the smaller Let's Plays now since since we're going to be to mission grinding. I'll see you up there. Ooh, Trinita de Monte. Trinita de Monte. Best known for presiding over the Spanish steps, which lead down to the Piazza di Spagna, construction of this church was completed in the early 1500s. Both the building and surrounding areas are property of the French state, who commissioned the project in celebration of their successful invasion of Naples. A very short-lived victory. All right, guys, I'll see you up top. My back. My back's hurting me? I'm getting old. My character's getting old, guys. Climbing on up. Woohoo! Look at this. We're gonna syn synchronize for the first time. It's gorgeous, guys. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say. With beautiful birds. All right, let's look at the map. We are looking at the map. Um, oh, what are all these? Oh. Oh, you can renovate. Oh. Wait a minute. Tunnel entrance. Oh, this is kind of cool. Do I have to? I think I have to get rid of the Borgio Tower in order to do anything with this area. So let's. Current objective. Perch on the beam and synchronize. Full synchronization. Do not drop below one health square foot. Um, I've completed all my maps and stuff. I've completed everything. Checkpoint reached. Um, there shouldn't be any problems. Oh, leap of faith. Do it. Gorgeous. Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Okay, I get crazy evidently with the things. Detection. I thought I was supposed to take him out immediately. Okay, I guess we'll follow him. Um, if something happens, I'll let you guys know. Ooh, Piazza di Spagna. The future site of the famously peculiar Piazza di Spagna, this public expanse at the foot of the Spanish steps, is shaped into an elongated triangle rather than a square. Named after the Spanish embassy to the Holy See, the Piazza became one of Rome's most popular meeting places. Notably, the romantic poet John Keats spent his final hours in a flat overlooking the Piazza. A thing of beauty is a joy forever, except when you're about to die of TB. I like the smart-ass things that it says nowadays. Come on. 
Go, just go, dude. I don't know what you're doing. Just go. Okay, I'll I'll see you guys in a minute when I catch up. Okay, we are attacking, guys. So this is good. Oh, you know what? I like the combat better. It's not as, like, grindy. It doesn't feel as grindy. Did I do it? Did it work? Ooh, full synchronization complete. Whoa, whoa. I didn't know that I was still doing this. I. Ooh, that's right, guys. Ooh, in the throw. You know the combat. I like the combat better, guys. I wonder how you take out horses. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> okay. That's actually... Okay. Are you... Are you... Do I have to kick... Oh, I'm kicking your ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the shin kicks of doom. What the hell is this mechanic anyways? That is a stupid mechanic, guys. Okay, so... Oh. I'm coming. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Hey. Oh, shit. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he just killed her. I wish he just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Well executed. A kind of he lives on a hill overlooking the gals. Locate and kill Of course I'll accept it. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Oh. Oh, let's access databases. El Carnefice. Date of birth, 1473. Profession executioner. There's nothing in history books about... Il Carnefice, so I did a little digging in Abstergo's mainframe. Here's what I found. A natural alley for the Borgia. Il Carnefice kills in the roar of approving crowd. The other small piece of information I could dig up is that he fancies himself some sort of twisted artist. I guess if that explains the crowd a bit, I wonder if he does tricks while performing executions or whether it's all in a subtle way he pulls the lever. Okay, guys. This... You know what? We're going to go. We'll, we'll go do it. We'll go wrap this up by killing that guy. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, nice. we're going to go in. Oh, we found him. There he is. Uh, not my best, but it's hard to make art with poor material. <laughs> oh, yeah! That was quick. Quick like a whip. Requiescat in pace. Dude, you're awfully easy to kill for being an asshole. Oh, I guess I'm a badass assassin. Never mind. Let's finish this off and then we'll wrap it up, guys. Ooh! Ooh, look at that, guys. It's horrific. It's almost like I'm a badass. Almost. Dude, I'm sorry. You did it. It was your fault. Okay. Let's, oh, hey, whoa, what did I have over here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, let's loot it. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. This is the fifth Let's Play for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Honestly, I'm liking it even better than the second one so far. We'll see how it is. Uh, until next time, take care.